Hi everyone, the Lethbridge Hurricanes were the most active team at today's Western Hockey League Bantam Draft in Calgary. Assistant GM Brad Robson made the picks this morning, selecting Giorgio Estepan with the fourth overall pick and later taking Thomas Lensishin at number 18. Now the Canes also made a splash in the trade waters, bringing in star goaltender Ty Rimmer from the Tri-City Americans for a second round pick in 2013 and a third pick in 2014 feel and believe strongly that he's the best goalie uh, that's uh, in the Western Hockey League and with him he just gives us the solidarity in the, that back end. He's a leader, character, the Tri-City people loved him and him coming into our dress room is just going to help our youth and the young players that we have right now. And George Estepan, uh, we're getting a big strong player. Uh, he's the captain of their team. He led the uh, south side uh, to the provincial championships to win. Uh, the one thing too with the size, he can play any um, type of game. He can dictate the game. Uh, he's He's a hard-working character kid, can plays hard in his own end. And Thomas Lancishan, uh, with him, he's a big, strong defenseman. He's going to give us a lot of size in that back end. And with Sayers and Ed Pilon from last year, we get a lot of size. Uh, he's the only player in the draft that played midget AAA. Now let's send it down to our Daryl Rummel at the NMAX Center. Daryl, what does all this activity mean for the Hurricanes? Yeah, there's no question it was a big day for the Lethbridge Hurricanes today. Not only do they select twice in the first round, but they go out and they address a glaring concern. If Hurricanes fans had any questions about their starting goaltending heading into next season, I'd say they've been answered. Picking up Ty Rimmer of the Tri-City Americans, this is a goaltender with a goals against average below three, a save percentage above 900. He's a guy that's a proven goaltender. He's a 20-year-old, so he's coming in with a lot of maturity and a guy that was nominated for West Division Goaltender of the Year. Now, you might ask yourself, well, why would the Tri-City Americans be willing to part with such a goaltender. They did it a couple of years ago with a guy named Drew Owsley, a Lethbridge kid. Obviously, he led them to a lot of wins, had a lot of success before they moved him to Prince George. Now, the uh, goaltenders that they've got in the system right now, they feel were adequate, but this puts them over the edge, hopefully into the playoff spot that Hurricanes fans have been longing for for such a long time. Now, getting back to those draft picks, we got Giorgio Estepan out of the Edmonton Bantam AAA system, had 100 points in 32 games, a smaller forward, he's about 5'9", but a guy that obviously they feel will grow into his, uh, into his position in, as a top six forward, hopefully, with the club. And uh, then they go out and then, as part of the Cam Brays trade of the 18th overall pick, they take Thomas Lencision, uh, Manitoba kid, a big kid, 6'2". So hopefully that will address some uh, concerns from those fans who say that the Hurricanes are getting a little bit too small, especially on the back end. Now, there is more questions than answers today, Heath. they got six overage players now. So obviously the work is just beginning for Rich Preston and his crew as we head into this next phase of the offseason. All right, thank you, Daryl. Now, Seattle chose centerman Matthew Barzal from Coquitlam, B.C. first overall this morning. The Kootenai Ice picked 10th and selected defenseman Troy Murray from White City, Saskatchewan. And the Medicine Hat Tigers had the 16th overall selection and went with defenseman Ty Schultz from New Westminster, B.C. Live horse racing is set to return to Exhibition Park. Rocky Mountain Turf Club CEO Max Gibb met with the local media and jockeys this afternoon at Exhibition Park. The longtime racing promoter says 2012 promises to be the best year for local race fans. They've brought in what they say is the best crop of young horses in the country and are excited to be back up and running starting this Saturday, the same day as the Kentucky Derby, and every Saturday through to October. It's going to be a great year. Good horses, $100,000 stakes race, quarter horse futurity race, $100,000 day for the thoroughbreds uh, called the B Cup. Uh, it's, the, it's the rural a response to the famous World Breeders' Cup. Uh, Lethbridge does it, and, and we do it right. And, and, and come and enjoy and love the horses. The Rocky Mountain Turf Club is also giving away a trip to Las Vegas each and every week. See track officials for details on that, Jackie. Now, this may not be as fast as the horses. Mm -hmm. Still pretty darn fast, though. Okay. Uh, toilet with the motor on it. A toilet. Toilet. That's a toilet. Story when we come back.